what's up everybody um i hope everybody is doing great out there today is saturday this is the saturday after i got back from my cruise and <laughs> i want to show y'all something if y'all can see that this is the end result of my sunburn yes yes so <laughs> she's recovering so today I actually, um, this is supposed to be the day I do my errands, my chores, everything. And um, I have some stuff that I really need to take care of. Uh, so I'm going to be pretty busy today. Um, I was when I got, I had to go get a mammogram this morning. I had an 8 o'clock appointment to go do that. So I did that already and grabbed some breakfast and just finishing that up. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock right now. And... Um, so I just have a lot to do. I was going to, when I got back from getting my mammogram, I was going to lay down for a little while. Um, Y'all might hear the lawnmowers and stuff. My grass is being cut. Uh, but I guess on the way back home, I started feeling like, you know, I didn't want to nap after all. I may take a nap a little later on today. I'm not really sure. I am filming with my camera. My son used my camera on our trip. It seemed like it was working fine. So I'm going to start trying to uh, film with my camera more often instead of my phone uh, because of a few things that I want to do. So we'll see. The issue that I was having is that um, sometimes it would just shut off. So I think maybe if I do clips versus like long filming, long um, long spans of time filming, I may be okay. So I probably have to just start piecing the clips together to keep the camera from shutting off. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get to it. My kids still have to bring their uh, stuff over because they accidentally took some of the stuff home. So what they what is considered missing out of the bin has been checked off. Everything that is actually that I have has been checked in. Um, that is this stuff here in the bin. But I still have to uh, get all of this stuff. I don't know if you can see that under here. I still got to get all of that stuff um, put in the bin and accounted for. And so I do this because it tells me when I'm getting ready for another trip, what I need to buy, if I'm running low on something, if I'm just completely missing something. Um, it helps me to stay on top of um, like not overspending because if I already have it in the travel bin, there's no reason for me to buy it. The only things that I buy every single time I travel is going to be um, I have fresh toothbrush. I put a brand new toothbrush, a fresh, a brand new tube of toothpaste, um, a brand new thing of mouthwash, all of that because the length of time that passes between when you travel, the toothbrush is just sitting in there and you don't know what's growing on it. Um, you can use the toothpaste and the mouthwash in the meantime and just buy more when the time comes. 
So I just feel like once those types, oh, and the soap. So if I do body wash or whatever, um, I take the body wash out or the soap out, whatever we're using, and I just put a brand new bottle of body wash or a brand new bar of soap for my husband in um, the bin. So I am now about to go ahead and uh, inventory the stuff that is on the floor. I do have, I'm going to do the same uh, so I'm going to make a copy of this uh, worksheet and the reason I'm doing that is because what I'm about to do now is um, like my first aid bag, uh, my sewing kit, um, that sort of thing and I want to make sure that I account for everything. So like my first aid bag, I know that we use like some of the uh, seasick patches. Um, I do have one box that was not open so I need to see what's in the other box that my kids were using. Um, to see if I need to get a second box um, just to make sure that I have them for the next time we go on a cruise because uh, I am planning one more this year so um, and just anything else that I might need so that's what I'm about to do now This is one of the things that I was checking to see if I needed to repurchase because I purchased these sea sickness um, patches. And if you can see, um, yes, right here, there's 72 in the box. And I had two boxes. I don't see the other box, so I think my kids might still have them. But to me, 72 is a perfect number uh, for me to have in my travel box. I don't think I'm going to have to purchase another one. Um, I do have a couple of things that I said I need to repurchase, but this this won't be one of them. Okay, so I got all of my travel supplies and everything inventoried. I know what's missing. I sent a, little, a list over to the kids. And so now um, I got the clothes separated. So I just need to fold my towels and um, take those downstairs. I'm kind of multitasking. So one of the things, the projects that I wanted to do was I have two desks sitting um, here. Uh, let me show you. So I have these two desks. These are two different desks sitting here and I have one on the other side. Um, at some point we are going to be going back hybrid which means that I'll be working from home again um, due to a move at my job. So I decided since I actually film on that side where you see the plant, I want to put the two desks over there and then just put one desk here right here so that this side will be my workstation for my job and my uh, my work computer the other side will be for my business filming YouTube uh, editing and all that stuff so that's a chore because I have to pull all of this stuff down physically move the desks over to, uh, move a desk over to the other side and finish getting all this stuff situated so we're making progress it's, it's, a, it's slow moving but <laughs> So anyway, it's slow moving, but I'm going to get there. Um, I am not rushing. I'm not on nobody's schedule. Um, the other thing that I have to do is that um, all of my pictures from the cruises and stuff that I did, I've decided that I actually want to put those pictures on this wall. Um, you can't see it, but it's on a wall on the other side. Um, I want to actually hang my... Uh, sign and sale card um, for each cruise so 
I have a bit of cleaning up to do before I can even consider that. Um, I'm not reorganizing my office. I'm just I'm cleaning up and actually putting things uh, where they're supposed to go. I did collect. I'm going to show you this. So on the beach when I was in the water in Jamaica, this is a box of seashells and stones that my daughter and I collected and I'm going to be decorating some frames and putting um, pictures in the frames from this last cruise um, and I'm also going to be making us uh, some jewelry so I have to find um, it's like this drill that will drill through different um, materials and so I need to find one that's actually going to drill through like the stones and the shells without breaking so that because I want to make necklaces for uh, my family I'm also going to be making neck uh, you know some necklaces for uh, necklace and bracelets for my mom um, her husband um, and you know a few friends so I'm excited to be doing that that's going to be a project that I will be doing with my daughter and mo most likely that we'll be filming it as we figure out how to you know put this whole um the jewelry and everything together but i gotta first get everything cleaned up so that when we're working in here we actually have a clean place to work the other thing is that um i have to get the supply so i have to get whatever the necklace will be hanging on i really would like a nice black um it looks like a string but it's not a string i don't know how to explain it so like if you go to some of these uh, places when you're shopping and you're out like the touristy type places you'll see like maybe it's one shell or something on the necklace and there's like usually it's not a chain and I want to get that because I know some people are uh, allergic to certain metals and stuff so I really like me I can't have costume jewelry too close to my skin because it causes me to itch so I want to look for what to make the necklaces out of and what to make the bracelets out of so anyway stay tuned for that all right okay i just came from making this salad and um i'm on amazon and i'm looking for the jewelry making kit and let me show you what i uh found So these are the um, cords or whatever that I was talking about. And they said they're black wax string bracelet making supplies. So this one's for bracelets. And they're 20 inch. So I need to see if they have some that are... Oh yeah, they do. They have some... Uh, oh, this one is eleven ninety nine, and it's a hundred pieces. They got thirty inch, twenty inch, thirty inch, and twenty inch in black, and then they have twenty inch in like a natural color, and then ten ten inch in like a cream color. They got like a, I think that's black. But that's a 10 inch and then 10 inch and like a, a really white color. I think I'd much rather that than the just the, because the other one was $8.99 and that one is just the, oh it says it's 100 pieces but it's, it's all one size. So I think I'd rather the one that's $11.99 because you get different colors and different sizes in them so i think I, I think that's the one i'm gonna get i also found this um and then this is the jewelry making kit 
Um, it has the tools, earring charms, wires. Uh, it just has all kinds of stuff on here. And this one is $31.99. And then I was looking at this drill. But then I thought about it. I already have a drill with drill bits. And I'm wondering if any of the drill bits that I have will drill through stone. Because most of the drills that I'm looking at on here, they don't. They said that they don't drill through stone or glass. It's only for like wood, plastic, uh, resin, you know, stuff like that. So I want to see if uh, the drill bits that I have will actually work on the stones. Because I do have some that are kind of large like they're not just stones they're actual um they're seashells and uh what do you call it seashells and um i can't think of the name it is it's escaping me but they're they're made in their natural um their natural in their natural products like seashells are but uh coral so it's, these are seashells like i have actual seashells like this one can y'all see that and then i have coral like this this is coral and then I actually have stones and I have stones in different colors um Oh my God, we found one. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Because I have stones that look like this as well. But we found, it was one that was so pretty. I was just like, I couldn't even believe it. So there are all different kinds of stones in here. But there's coral and uh, seashells as well. And this one is like really smooth. And the and the coral is in so many different shapes. It's just ridiculous. But it's all of these are um out of the ocean from when we were at Jamaica. When we were at um Doctor's Cave in Jamaica. And there was one, it was like uh three shades y'all see that it was one that we found it was like a black and then it had a streak of white and we don't just have the big ones you know we have small ones like this as well and so these are ones that i want to use to decorate around the frame that we're going to put our picture in But anyway, I'm going to um, see like this one is two-tone. You see that? But anyway, I'm going to do, we're, I'm going to make sure that we film when we're, um, you know, making the jewelry and making the frames and stuff. So y'all can see what we decided to do with, with all of this. And it, it's so much. This bag is really heavy. Um... But anyway, yeah, so we have stones, we have coral, and we have seashells. And we want to use all of those um, when we're making a jewelry because I want all the pieces to be unique. Um, I don't really wear jewelry, but I definitely, once I make these necklaces and bracelets and stuff, I'm going to be wearing them because they ha will have sentimental value. You know, this is a trip that I never want to forget. I mean, I don't want to forget any of my trips, but um, this one was really special to all of us. Um, but I, I definitely will be wearing them because they're going to have sentimental value. 
But anyway, I'm going to get back to my search. I'm going to eat my salad. Um, and then this is my little lunch break. So um, I'm going to eat my salad. And then I'm going to get back to cleaning up my workroom. And then I think probably the very last thing I'm going to do before I leave out of here is move this desk over and get everything situated. So be back. Those of y'all who don't know, <laughs> I sit on a heating pad all day at home. Well, when I'm in my office and um, all day at work because I be cold. It don't matter. Okay, as you can see, I got everything switched around. So this is my current setup and this is what I'm gonna be going with since I'm gonna be doing like filming, editing, all that, uh, uploading everything. This is my um, business side of things. And I have a desk on the other side over there that is going to be my work side of things. So again, once we uh, go back hybrid. That means some days I'll be working from home. That's a permanent setup there for me now. And I don't have to plug and unplug monitors and things like that for me to work. So that's about it. All right, so this is what we're working with. And this is not a perfect plan, but I needed to get it straightened up got some stuff wiped down I have to figure out storage for this this is all my electronics microphone soundboard uh, ring light just a whole bunch of electronic stuff so I have to figure out storage for that and this is going to be the permanent desk for my work whenever I work from home and then you got this over here which is my business setup for YouTube and then my TH Green and Company and so I have two desks side by side. Got my laptop and my two screens for me to, um, when I film, film it against the this wall over here with my bookcase behind me. And it's in the uh, lighting and all that stuff. So um, I'll be able to edit 
and upload and everything from one spot without having to plug and unplug my monitors because when I work from home uh, now uh, I use one of my monitors and I have to unplug it uh, from my laptop plug it up to my work laptop and all that but when we actually go back to work in hybrid uh, I'll have an extra monitor um, on that desk over there so then I'll just plug my work laptop up to that uh, monitor and I don't have to fool with plugging and unplugging so this is where we are I got a bunch of extra space over here which is nice um, I thought about moving uh, my this area here a little further back but I decided I didn't want to do that I don't need a lot of space over here because you know I won't be moving around I'll just be uh, editing and uploading and watching YouTube videos and everything so yeah that's it Good morning. It is five o'clock. Oh, it's Sunday. Why am I up, you say? Because the hubby is snoring. Today is my self-care day. I'm up, I went ahead and got my coffee. And I think that what I'm gonna do is at some point, I'm going to get back in the bed, take me a nap. Wish me luck. Hey, y'all. So, it is now Sunday. Um, it is now 8 o'clock. Um, I went downstairs and made me a bowl of fruit. It's watermelon, cherries, and grapes. And I got me a lemon 
to squeeze over the top. Because I found that uh, citrus helps to uh, enhance the flavor of watermelon. It's supposed to be salt, but instead of using salt, I like going the healthier route by using citrus. Um, also, it aids in your digestion. So anybody who knows anything about like drinking lemon water and that sort of thing, so it's helpful on two or more accounts. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here. I'm sitting here watching um, YouTube. Uh, I was looking for some pricing on a trip that I need to take. And uh, I have to wait for confirmation uh, from the people that we're going to go visit uh, in order for me to be able to go ahead and book. So anyway, oh, I don't know why my nose is running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat my fruit, finish watching YouTube, and hopefully sometime today we'll get confirmation so I can go ahead and book this flight because I think the, uh, book the arrangements because I have to flight, rent a car, and hotel, and the longer you wait, the higher the prices. So anyway, hopefully we'll hear something today. All right, I'll see y'all later. Hey, y'all. Okay, so my daughter's here. Y'all know today is my self-care day, and she is going to do my pedicure, and I'm going to come back and show y'all my Piggly Wigglies when she's done. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? Happy Memorial Day. Today is Memorial Day, and I've been filming over the last couple of days just trying to interact with you guys, kind of letting you see what I have going on. Um, I am up this morning. I have not had any breakfast, but I have had coffee and feeling a little dehydrated. So I am drinking water. So I've got pretty much one bottle down. Um, I had another bottle that was about a third of the way, uh, or about, it was about a third of the bottle left. And I just poured that in my cup. So I'm drinking that now. I got up watching... Um, some YouTube this morning and I stumbled across a channel called uh, with a guy his name is Austin Godbolt and he's talking about different ways to make money on social media I'm, I'm gonna drop his uh, link in the description box of this video so y'all can check him out I'm not promoting his channel or anything like that as a favor to him or whatever I just stumbled across his channel the reason I'm sharing the link to his channel is because I find that some of his content um, is very interesting so I'm also um, I'm always looking for ways to not necessarily reinvent myself but to um, kind of kick up my game a little bit so today is just going to be a rest day I actually swapped out yesterday for today as my self-care day my daughter came over did my pedicure um, she was going to do my hair but um, we decided that we want to go out and I did uh, go out and we went to Walmart I had some things that I needed to buy and so I want to kind of put you guys on anybody who's using the fetch rewards app um, what I did was um, I had my grocery list and everything and I pulled up the fetch rewards app and I just kind of scrolled through that first page that comes up on the home screen and I looked to see if there were any items on my grocery list um, that came up and offered points on the fetch rewards and there were there were quite a few and actually um my uh my purchase when i went to walmart um i was trying to see if i could oh my skin is i put oil on and everything yesterday my skin is just started back peeling oh okay so i'm gonna have to get some moisturizer for my arm anyway Um, I went right to it because they had a, a little panel on the home screen. It said, check out your points earnings. But what I did was I went to Walmart and the Walmart receipt. Is it going to tell me how much it gave me? A 
hold it because that's not the right one. Let's see. Firehouse. Yes. So, um, my daughter bought some stuff from Walmart and I used um, her receipt too because she's not doing fetch anymore. But my receipt, I got 7,285 points by looking at my grocery list and then looking at um, the Fetch Rewards homepage to see if there was anything on my grocery list that I would get points for. And again, there were. I had to, you know, get like um, granola bars, you know, snacks and different things like that. Um, and so they had a General Mills uh, coupon. They had one for Philadelphia cream cheese. And I needed to get cream cheese for my husband because he likes lox and bagels. And the cream cheese was the only thing that we didn't have. Um, I also bought my son um, some bagels. Um, my daughter and I got... She got bagels and I got um, English muffins because I needed to buy uh, uh, $8 worth of English muffin or bagels, Thomas's or whatever, and I got points for that. So that's what I did is to kind of help out my kids as well. Um, I bought things on my grocery list, but I also bought, because uh, I had to buy a certain dollar amount of certain things. And so I was able to uh, give them like the, the, the surplus of things that I knew we were not going to be able to eat. So helping the kids out, getting my points from Fetch. Your girl is, she's on the uh, comeuppance. So, yeah, I encourage y'all to um, do the same thing. Go through your um, Fetch Rewards um, app and just look and see if um, there's anything that, uh, if you make a grocery list that you can purchase by looking at your Fetch Rewards and it will help you get more points. Because, like what I was buying, I would go to the store and I would buy certain things and I wouldn't necessarily buy um, a particular brand. You know, some stuff I buy whatever is the least expensive and then some stuff I absolutely buy a certain brand. Like Gain, I only wash with Gain and I only use the um, Arm & Hammer scent beads and I use the OxyClean um, powder. You know, so there are certain things that I absolutely have to buy a certain brand of because that's what I love. But then there are certain things... That I'm just I'm not tripping over like say for example bread I don't have a, like a favorite brand of bread um, and sometimes I will find like um, they have different brands but they're like the nut and grain or the uh, cracked weed or something like that you know so that's more what I pay attention to the type of item or the type of ingredients that's in the item versus the name itself so I'm gonna suggest that you do that because your sister racked up over 7,000 points off of my Walmart receipt. So I was just giddy, giddy, giddy. And I don't have to um, go back to the store uh, anytime soon. But the next time I go, this is the, I think the second or third time. Uh, the second or third time that I've done this. Um, the first time... I think it was the second time. So the first time I got, you know, I want to say I got a little over 3,000 points or whatever. So it's kind of pushing me up. It caused my balance to be um, pretty high because I'm trying to, you know, get my numbers up there so I can get me a nice little gift card. So, but anyway, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my water. Um, I do need to remake my um, grocery list. Because um, what I do is I circle anything that I don't buy from the store. That way when I make my new list, all those circled items, are going, they go on the list first. So that's what I need to do is remake my grocery list. Um, I really need to clean, but I'm just, I think I'm just going to do it throughout the rest of the week. Because it once I start cleaning, it's a lot. It's a lot. I did my office already, vacuumed and everything, wiped stuff down. Um... And so basically I just need to, oh, and I still had a project of uh, papers and receipts and stuff. So I may actually drag all of that stuff in here in my office and sit on the other side over there since I have more room. Um, and um, just go through that stuff. I mean, it's stuff that needs to be shredded. So plus I'm looking for something. Uh, the one thing I did not do was get my frame. So at some point over the next, I guess, week or two, because I did get a notification that my son's uh, photo book from our cruise is going to be delivered today. So I'm excited to see what that looks like. Um, but uh, I guess over the next uh, few weeks or whatever, I'll have to make a point because I do have a list of the size of frames I need. Um, so I'm going to have to go and pick up my frames. I'm not 
uh, actually ready to start hanging everything yet. So that's why I'm not rushing to get them. Um, because then the pictures will be in the frames and they will just be kind of sitting there. So, um, I said I wasn't going to paint in here. I think I said this, uh, my work room and then, um, my husband's, uh, game room was the two areas I wasn't going to paint. But I think I may go ahead and paint. I mean, it'll still be white, but the paint, you can't wipe the walls and stuff. So, I think I may go ahead and, plus it's not really a white, it's more like an off-white. It's kind of weird. I've been looking at it and I'm like... The door frames are white, but the walls are not white, as white as the door frame. So, it's a different kind of white. So, um, yeah, so I think, I, I think I'm kind of feeling like I want to paint in here just so that the walls are actually white. And, um, like if I need to wipe them or something, I'm not afraid to wipe the walls. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Um... And I guess I'll check back with you guys. Uh, I'm thinking I bought some turkey sausage. Um, and I got the English muffins. Oh, I, I don't know if y'all remember me telling you about this. I love that Olive Garden, the house, uh, the house, um, I think it's a, I don't know if it's called Italian or vinaigrette or whatever their house dressing is. And I started buying the bottles out of the store because I originally was buying the little to-go cups that were in um, Dollar Tree. And every time I went or my daughter went, we would just grab all the ones off the shelf. Well, we stopped seeing it in Dollar Tree. So yesterday, um, when we went to Walmart, um, so the, those you get three cups and it's $1.25. And so yesterday when we went to Walmart, they had a box of six of the cups, same size and everything, for $2. I was like, we scanned it. My daughter was scanning it, but for some reason the price wasn't coming up. But when I scanned it, it came up for $2. I told her, I said, you grab everyone off the shelf. So it was 10 boxes. I took, yes, I did, greedy as I want to be, because mm -hmm. I take those to work and I leave them in my drawer. So when I want to have salad, I don't have to buy salad dressing out of the... um the dining room and so out of the cafe and so yes i did i 10 10 it's either 10 or 11 boxes and it's six cups in each box and um it's also good because my husband want a salad you know if for whatever reason he you know want to take a salad he can you know take those two but i absolutely love them i also use the little cups because i eat it with like carrot sticks my cucumbers you know Oh my God, it is so good. But what we noticed, because my daughter said she noticed the same thing, is that the cups have a completely different flavor than the bottles. The, the, the salad dressing that's in the bottle don't taste as good as the one that's in the cups. And we're not really sure why. But we do notice a difference. So, uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I don't know if y'all can see this. But, yeah, I'm peeling. But that's okay, because that's part of the healing process. And I did, I took a bath yesterday, soaked in my tub. And when I got out, you might be able to see just a little of me glistening. I have this oil um, that I found. Thanks, Dame. Dame recommended. It's a, uh, it's a body, it's a uh, cocoa butter oil gel. So it's like oil but it's in a gel form it's, it's hard to explain a little bit goes a long way and i absolutely love it it makes my skin feel amazing when i get out of the tub so i put that on because i knew i was going to be um you know moving around and my daughter she put it all over my back for me so um but yeah anyway i want to tell y'all that and i will try to um put a screenshot uh, of the oil and stuff in the video I'm um, the oil lord have mercy the olive garden dressing in the video and i'm gonna show y'all my haul what i found yay okay so i'm about to get started i bought this um shredder years and years and years ago and i've never used it before so we're about to use it and see um how it works it comes with uh, these bags. So, they got these holes. 
So I guess I need to figure out. It's supposed to be to catch whatever you're shredding. So I guess I need to. It's a bunch of them too. I guess I need to um, figure out how to. Uh, if I want to use the bags, how to set it up. So. Huh. Oh, it tells you. You just slide the thing through it. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to use the bags or not, but I can at least look and see if. Ugh. Oh, man. Y'all, I think the battery might have. Oh, it's all sticky on the bottom. I think the battery might have like exploded or something in here. I can't even get it open. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, yeah. I have to look and see if I can even. I don't know if I'll be able to clean this up to use it because the other part of that is is this is sticky. Like, why is it sticky? Oh man, y'all. I do have another shredder, but I kind of wanted to use this. Let me see if I can get this clean up. Whatever you shred goes in the bag. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the bag on here for a second because I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna use it. But I got all the got everything cleaned. Um, I cleaned out the the inside. I cleaned out this part. All of this is not sticky anymore. But yeah, I'm gonna have to. I must have stuck the batteries in there to test it out and never used it and just left the batteries in there so anyway i'm gonna go start bringing in the stuff that needs to be shredded
So, <laughs> I'm making progress, but some of this stuff I have forgot I even had. I just found some papers for property in Florida that my husband asked me to get, and I kept telling him I knew I got it, but I couldn't remember what I did with it. So I gave that to him, and then um, he has fluid on his ear, and I found the hearing test that he did and the referral. Uh, I'm very organized, y'all, but this stuff, like, sometimes what I'll do is I'll put stuff in the box and say I need to go file this stuff away, and he doesn't need the, the referral anymore because he already went and got the test done, but I told him because he still, he never went and got the procedure done that they wanted him to have, so now he has to have another hearing test, but he has to go back to the doctor in order to get that done. So I told him, I said, I'm going to scan the results that I got and give those papers to him for him to take and let them make a copy of them so that they'll have something to compare his new test to, like what his hearing was then and what it is now. So now what I'm doing, because I can't get in this position again, is as I'm going through this stuff, I have to open and pull out the, the pages because this is the box of stuff that's going to be scanned. This stuff is... I have to open it because the envelopes have never been opened. I got keepsakes and stuff going on back there. And this stuff is, I gotta look at it because it's like a mixture of things and I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna scan it and shred it or if I'm actually following the papers. This is some user manuals for different stuff that we have. And I'm still going through uh, this pile here. And I gotta go through this, these three boxes right here. And then after I do that, I can go ahead and shred. So, <laughs> I might not get done with this today. And I still got stuff in the room. Um, and it's I just really need to organize. But what I also have to do is get um, containers so that I can, as I'm organizing, I can actually, like, put labels on stuff so I know what it is. So if I'm looking for something, then I know what to pull down. So anyway, let me get back to it. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I had to take a break. Oh my gosh. I have to I have to get back on my my grind of making sure that as I handle uh the mail coming in, stuff is getting put where it's supposed to go. Cause this is just a lot. Trash can started out empty and now it's like full to the top. So yeah. Um I am going to have some stuff that I have to examine a little closely. The plan was always to put the stuff in a box. When I had a moment, once a week, I was supposed to go through, scan the stuff that needed to be scanned, because I have an external hard drive, and shred the hard copy. Um, What, four or five boxes later? We still ain't, <laughs> we still ain't done it. Um, Y'all saw me eating the noodles earlier. I couldn't finish those. They um, started to irritate my stomach, so I went and got me some. Oh, shoot. I'm going to get me some ice. So I got to go back downstairs and get me some ice. Because I have some water, but the ice melted. And I like my, when I drink stuff, to be like super, super cold. So I got to go back downstairs and get me a cup of ice. Anyway, it is 1123. Um, I'm actually going to eat my watermelon, drink my water, 
watch a couple more YouTube videos, then um, I think I'm going to allow myself uh, no more than another hour to finish or see what I can get done in an hour for the going through the papers and stuff. Um, I want to do an ASMR uh, letter opening video and I want to do an ASMR shredding paper video. So, yeah. If you're into ASMR, be looking out for them because I am going to post them on TikTok, Facebook. Uh, TikTok, Facebook. I'm going to do a, sh a short for YouTube and Instagram. So, it's going to go up everywhere. You'll probably get sick of seeing it. But anyway, I haven't quite decided how long uh, the video will be. But it will be uh, an ASMR video. I'm doing one for letter opening and then I'm also doing one for um, shred, paper shredding. Watermelon is so sweet. The thing of it is, I have to open this stuff and I have to shred it anyway, so I figure I'll get some content out of it. But anyway, I will get back with y'all later. Okay, y'all, so that is going to do it for me for today. Um, I got my watch charging right now, but it is 147 and, um, I did my two ASMR videos. I'm about to edit and actually, um, I'm about to, uh, render this footage and then start editing this video so that I can get it out to you guys. Uh, it'll probably go out if I get it, um completed um and ready to upload it'll go out tomorrow but if not y'all will see this on wednesday and i'm gonna get my asmr videos out and then um i need to um at some point in the process of all of this start making a list of the content that i want to try to get out to you guys i do have some folders that i've set aside in my um on my external hard drive with video topics um in them I just have to film the content. I'm waiting to hear back from this company. I'm hoping that they st are still interested. Um, we'll see. If not, then I'll just keep it moving. But um, they wanted me to uh, test out this cookware. And I was really excited about um, that. Out of all the brands that have reached out to me, um, there was one that wanted me to do a um, a video. All the ones that I've done so far, I've just done. Uh, I tested the product and done a review. This one they wanted me to, but and I got the product for free, so they haven't actually. I think only one company actually paid me uh, something. And one of the products that I just reviewed, it was um, my Amazon product. They wanted me to do a video too, but I'm like, are y'all gonna give me some money? Because my thing is. When you get to the point of start asking me to actually create content, like film, edit, all that, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to break me off a little something. If you're not willing to pay me and all you want me to do is test your product and I get to keep the product because I'm not taking the ones that I'm not interested in. So like I did one for a smartwatch. I just did one for a backpack clip for my phone i wasn't a huge fan of that he wanted me to give it a five star rating even though i didn't agree that it was five stars if you have a gopro that device is perfect but if because it's you can either use a gopro a small camera or your cell phone i don't have a go a gopro or a, a mini vlogging camera so i had to use my cell phone and it was extremely uncomfortable it was very bulky um and I just gave an honest review and he wanted me to give it five stars. And I said, that wouldn't be honest of me because I don't feel like it's a five star product. So anyway, um, then, um, there's another company that reached out to me. Um, there's three more companies and, uh, two of them, I know I'm just getting the product, which I'm okay with because these are things that I would use in my everyday life anyway. But the one for the cookware, I would definitely, um, do a video on that one because the cookware itself is, I looked on the website and it's, it's a nice little chunk of change for that cookware. So, um, 
I'm waiting to hear back from them because I asked if the opportunity was still available, but I hadn't heard anything. So we'll see if I don't get the um, opportunity to work with them. Hopefully something else will come along. But this is kind of the direction of my channel. I want to get into more product reviews, give you honest reviews about things that um, I'm being offered. But I also want to um, do some other uh, types of videos as well. But anyway, I got a whole um folder with excuse me video topics and stuff in there and i can't wait to start filming that content for you guys so i am going to go ahead and get back at it uh again i got to render this video i have to edit the two uh, asmr videos and get those uploaded to tiktok uh instagram and facebook as well as youtube um as shorts so um i will catch y'all next time all right now If you're not already a member of the Fetch fam, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and download that app, scan my QR code, and get to scanning those receipts. You might as well take advantage of it. You're already spending the money. The receipts translates into points, the points translates into cash, and you can redeem that cash via store card or cash card, or you can donate to charity. Well, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here, but you know we don't do so without saying, love yourself, love somebody else, and until next time, Y'all take care. Bye.